Hello, in this video we'll go over how to manage your agents in Happy Fox. Your agents are defined as your team members who use Happy Fox to resolve tickets raised by your customers. In this example that you see right here, this is the agent view of Happy Fox and one has not been assigned to this one. Agents are the people that you can select to assign to a particular ticket so that they can handle it on behalf of your customers. I'm going to go back in behind the scenes now to show you how you can manage your agents and then how to define them as well. So in the second column under manage you can scroll down to the section known as agents and click on that. That will pull up a list of all of your active agents and if you don't have any don't worry you can create some. It's a very simple process to do that. You can simply go in and hit the plus button right next to active agents and you can add an agent or you can even add multiple agents by separating their uh, email addresses with commas uh, by giving their first name and last name putting in their company email address, and then you also get to pick out a role that they get to have. And they can be an administrator, staff, or any role that you put into the system. You can find more about roles in the roles and permissions video that's also included here in Happy Fox University. What you can do is also select the particular categories that you wish those agents to be associated with. You can also learn more about categories in Happy Fox University. Please go there to learn more about that. This is going to enable you, though, to pick out which particular categories you wish for your agents to be involved with. For instance, if the agent in, in question is actually on the finance team and they're supposed to get billing-related questions in the system, you might associate them just with a category known as accounting. However, if they are general IT and are, are more specialized IT, then you might have them located in several different IT-related categories. Alternately, if you are creating an administrator of the system, perhaps you might consider selecting all of them. It's really up to you to decide which categories they need to be involved in, but that defines how they will work and where they will work, so make sure you've given plenty of thought to that as you're building out your agents. Now, it's very easy to go in there. Once you send that off, then they'll be given an email and they'll be listed in the pending agents section of Happy Fox. So, uh, what happens then is once they accept their invitation in, then they won't be pending anymore. They'll be an active agent. Alternately, if you have deactivated any agents but haven't deleted them from the system, you can see them here in case you do want to bring them back on at some later period of time. Now, what you are able to do in the agent area as well is see who is logged in and available to accept tickets. This is for the round robin style of auto assignment handled by our automation process. You can learn more about that in Happy Fox University as well. Thank you very much for your time. Please refer back to Happy Fox University for some of the other concepts discussed in this video.